What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general clips reading for Sana Scorpio. This covers any if you have Scorpio, any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Appreciate all the new subscribers and all the um, love and support to the channel. Okay, so we have whale upright, beaver upright. For some, you can be dealing with a water sign or a earth sign. If you are, they can have fourth Capricorn, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, and Hebrew, Jupiter charts. If you are, and as always, only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Okay. Okay, so. Water sign, earth sign, energy strong. I did receive a channel message as I was meditating on your energy, Scorpio. I heard family energy strong. That's what I heard. So family energy strong. So I feel you're around your family right now or you're about to be around your family or your family's about to commun communicate with you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, or they already have communicated with you. However, that resonates and applies. Family energy strong. So I feel for some, you might be close to your family or you're about to communicate with your family um, or you have communicated with your family or you're close with them or something like that. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate, flowers, happiness, handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Spare messages. Earth magic. <clears throat> Double confirmation for earth sign energy in here. I strongly feel for some you're dealing with two or two plus earth signs. If you are, they have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, hammer, Jupiter charts. I feel for some they could be members of your family, possibly. Well. Someone's grandfather that is not yours is about to give you life-changing advice. Be very smart to listen to this person. Okay. You plug in and how it resonates. If that resonates for you, Scorpio, for one of you guys, I heard someone's grandfather that is not your grandfather. So they're not your grandfather if this resonates for you. They're not yours. They're somebody else's grandfather. But I heard they're about to give you life-changing advice. So life-altering, life-changing advice. I heard to be very smart to listen to them. So, um, I, I, I think you're going to have strong emotions towards this advice. For some, you could be, um, I think you could be happy over this advice or pissed about it. But however it resonates, it's going to be very useful, helpful advice. Whoever this grandfather that's not yours is, is about to give you the advice. I heard be very smart to listen to him. So, um, this hasn't happened yet. It's up, upcoming. The grandfather that's not your grandfather is coming as a well energy. Wells are leaders in the sea. They're leaders in the sea, and I think they are a leader in their family, and they are a leader in the community, possibly, or a leader in life, and they've li lived a lot of life. Um, I heard it be very smart to listen to them, so I think they're well-respected and a leader in their community, society, world, etc., etc., etc. They're showing up as the well energy. For some, it could be a water sign um, or an earth sign. But uh, you plug it in how it resonates. It's a grandfather that's not your grandfather, Scorpio. Scorpio is about to come across a very famous YouTuber soon. It's about to totally change your perspective on the past. Totally change it. 
Okay, for one of you Scorpios, you're about to come across a very famous YouTuber soon. So a very famous YouTuber. I didn't hear specifically which YouTuber this is. Um, obviously, if this resonates for you, I don't think you're a very famous YouTuber. Um, but you're about to come across a very famous YouTuber, whoever the very famous YouTuber is. But if this resonates for you, when you come across them, I heard you're, it's going to completely change your perspective of the past. So you had some sort of set mindset perspective of the past in some shape, form, or fashion. But once you come across this very famous YouTuber, I heard it's going to change your perspective on the past. For one, it's going to cause you to report identity theft. Unemployment fraud. For one of you guys, it's going to cause you to report identity theft and unemployment fraud. So for one of you guys coming across this very famous YouTuber upcoming in the universe is going to change your perspectives on, on the past so badly um, and so dr drastically, basically, that it's about to... Um, for one, you're about to report identity theft and unemployment fraud of the past, uh, if that resonates. For some, it could be an Earth sign YouTuber you're about to come across. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Earth sign YouTuber. They're a very famous YouTuber. Um, or a water sign. How that resonates and applies. The initial J is very significant. And M and S. The initials J, M, and S are very significant. J, M, and S. So this could be the maybe a first, middle, last, or um, nickname initial of the very famous YouTuber you're about to come across, possibly. Her J, M, S. J, M, S. So you plug in it, how it resonates. J is in jack o' lantern, M is in monkey, S is in sunshine. Beaver. Someone's social media platform is about to blow up in a very positive way. Huge changes are about to come there. For some, it's yours. For some, it's a fem energy of your past. For some, you purvey their services right now. Okay, so somebody's social media platform is about to blow up. Whether it's yours, a fem energy of your past, or somebody you purvey business services from right now. Um... Somebody's social media platform is about to blow up. So it's about to increase. Um, there's about to be a lot of, I'm assuming, um, drive into it, business influx into it, or um, people wanting to look at whatever the hell they're doing um, on social media. YouTube. YouTube. I heard YouTube. YouTube specifically. So somebody's YouTube platform is about to blow up, whether it's um, a person, uh, whether it's a uh, a person of your past, a family energy of your past, yours, or somebody you provide business services from, Scorpio. Um, just saying, just saying. I think they're um, they're about to become a leader or they're about to take the lead and make some kind of huge changes on their platform. Uh, I heard for one, you're about to make huge changes on your platform. So for one, you're about to do it. I heard you too. For one, this fem energy of your past is going to make huge platforms of her um Huge changes on her platform, it's going to benefit her. And for one, somebody you currently provide business services from on a YouTube platform, they're going to uh, make changes and it's going to help them. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But taking the lead, making changes, being a leader, and um, stepping up to the plate, basically. I think it's about to benefit them in a huge way. I think it's about to make them stable, grounded, dependable, reliable, whether it's you, the feminine energy of your past, or somebody you currently Provide business services from sports. Foul play of the past has about become very significant in Scorpio's life. Foul play of the past is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Some kind of foul play. So you plug in how it resonates, Scorpio. Whatever foul play that was and how that resonates, some kind of foul play. Um was performed in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, 
you could have been on the positive end of that or the negative end of that. Only you know, you know your situation and story, not anybody else, but some kind of foul play. Whether you participated in a negative sense in that or somebody else did. Uh, only you know which end of the karmic wheel you're on there, Scorpio. But some kind of foul play of the past. For some of you, you could report the foul play. I can't speak. <laughs> For some of you, you could report the foul play possibly or not. Uh, fire, strong emotion, passionate, love or hate. A hate crime is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life and a drive-by security. And a newscasting. A hate crime, a drive-by shooting, and a newscasting is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. A hate crime, a drive-by shooting, and um, a newscasting. For some of you, you could be a newscaster or you could work in the news media conglomerate. For one, I feel you could maybe re be reporting on this hate crime or reporting the hate crime or helping someone out of the hate crime, some kind of hate crime energy. You don't, I mean, you could be on the positive or negative spectrum of that, but some kind of hate crime energy for one, um, one, some kind of newscasting and for one, something about drive-by shooting. Now, for some of you, you could see that uh, you could see the drive-by shooting on news, on the news station. Or hopefully you're not out there shooting somebody, mowing somebody down with a firearm, but something to do with a drive-by shooting. Whether you hear about it from somebody, you see it on the news, what have you, what have you. For some, I feel this drive-by shooting could be gang-related because I've been pulling in a shit ton of gang violence lately, especially East Coast gang energy. And I'm just being for real, for real. So for some, I feel it could be gang-related. And I'm just being serious. But in that case, hate crime would be uh, uh, passionate hate towards a group or sector or society of people, I'm presuming. Flowers, happiness. A breakup, a, a soon breakup with Capricorn is about to be the best thing that ever happened to you. You're about to realize this shortly after it happens. And you already intuitively know it. Okay, so for one, you're in some kind of relationship with Capricorn. They could have Caps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or them in Haven, Jupiter, Charge. You plug in how it resonates. But whoever this Caps is, Mask or them Caps, I heard you already know it's going to be the best thing for you. So I don't feel this is twin flame or soulmate energy. Um, and I think you intuitively already know it, whoever this is for. It's some kind of Capricorn energy, master femme caps. But it sounds like the breakup's about to happen soon, whether you initiate the breakup or they initiate it. But however that resonates, you already know it's going to be the best thing for you already. And um, I heard it is going to be the best thing once you officially break up. I think it's going to make you happy or it's going to make the caps happy. And I'm just being for real. It is going to be the best for both people. Very forced. It is going to be the best for both people. Very forced. So it sounds like this connection was very forced. It wasn't like a twin flame or a higher level soulmate or a twin ray or something like that. It was a very forced connection. I almost feel like arranged relationship energy. And that is some sick ass in the head shit. And that's just true. I didn't hear it was, but intuitively I feel it. Some people are so back with outdated belief systems. That's just the way some folks are, unfortunately. But 
I heard that breakups about to be the best thing for you and this Caps, masculine fem Caps. I think it's going to leave you both happier. Because obviously y'all are not twin flame, soul soulmates, twin rays, whatever, whatever. Gatlinburg is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. It's about to make them very happy. And a sky bridge. Gatlinburg and a sky bridge is about to be, um, it's about to make a, uh, uh, Scorpio very happy. So for one, I feel you're about to travel to Gatlinburg or you already have, I think you're about to travel to Gatlinburg and something to do with the sky bridge. I think there is a sky bridge in Gatlinburg. If it's not in Gatlinburg, it's somewhere in Tennessee. I think it's in Gatlinburg. I've never been, but I've always wanted to go. But I heard Gatlinburg and the Sky Bridge is about to become very significant. I think it's about to make you very happy. I think you have a lot of passion for this situation to travel to Gatlinburg or to um, be on a Sky Bridge in some shape, form, or fashion. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. A Scorpio is about to start meeting all new different kind of people. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. And for one, Scorpio, you are about to go to prison. You don't think you're going to, but you are about to. Through many series of chain of events. New energies in prison. Oh, Lord. Okay, so for one of you low vibrational Scorpios, I heard you will end up in prison through many series of chain of events. You don't think you're going to end up in prison, and I was picking that up in Leo's too. Um... You don't think you're going to end up in prison, but I heard through many series of chain events you're about to. So whoever you are, Scorpio, you're about to end up in prison. You seem to think you're not going to. Um, I think you're used to playing the system or bending the system or manipulating person, people, place, or situation, but it sounds like you're about to end up in prison. You might be a masculine fem Scorpio and have Scorpio in any aspect of your chart. So that's just for one very low vibrational criminal, apparently. And I don't think this is a setup or something like that. I think this person really deserves to be there. Absolutely deserves to be there. That's confirmation. They absolutely deserve to be there. Yeah. I don't think this is, I think they really truly deserve, I mean, I heard from spirit, they really deserve to be there. So just saying, just saying. Um, but for one of you guys, not the prison person, you're about to start meeting a whole bunch of different people, new to you people. And I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge ass way. So a meeting with a stranger can be important in this aspect is meeting uh, new energies new to you. I don't think they're going to energy suck, energy drain off you, energy vampire off your ass. I think they're going to compliment you and you're going to compliment them. And I think it's about to benefit you, benefit you in a huge ass way. That's what I think. New energies to you. Two or two plus energies. I think it's going to make you happy. And I think you're going to be passionate about these people in a positive way. For some, I feel it could be earth signs or water signs possibly you're about to meet. You plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. A particular fire sign is about to really start losing weight. It's about to shock the hell out of you. They're about to go ham in a very positive way. Health and wellness. Okay, a particular fire sign fem, Aries Leo Sag fem, I heard they're about to start losing weight in a very positive way. Um, So I don't think they're going to like, I don't think it's bulimia or anorexia or anything like that. I think it's them losing weight in a very positive, positive copacetic way. I heard they're about to go ham. So I think they're about to go to the gym, going to start walking. Um, cycling, biking, hiking, whatever the hell they're about to do, but um, it's about to benefit them in a positive way. Um, they're about to become very passionate about it. It's a fire sign fem. I heard it's about to um, shock the hell out of you. So you could be happy for this person or not happy for this person, but uh, this person's about to be happy for themselves, and they're about to start really working on their weight and their um, body. And I think you're going to see changes in them. Whoever this fire sign feminine is to you, Scorpio. I feel it can be masculine, fem, Scorpio, but it's fire sign fem, Aries Leo, Sag fem. 
They could have Aries Leo side, any aspects of your charts, earth magic. An earth sign is about to completely shut down their tarot reading platform. It's about to shock the hell out of you. And a water sign. An earth sign and a water sign uh, is about to completely shut down their tarot reading platform. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So some kind of earth sign and water sign energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, main, haven, energy, Jupiter charts. I feel it could be mass, or fem, earth sign, or water sign. I'm about to shut down their uh, tarot reading platform. I heard it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. They're about to shut it down. But apparently they're about to. But um, it sounds like there's about to be a reason they're going to shut it down. Maybe uh, maybe they're going to move on to something else. Maybe they don't want to do tarot no more. I mean, I didn't hear the reason why they're going to shut it down. But obviously, they don't have any more passion for it anymore, obviously. I mean, I mean, free will to do what they want to do. If they don't want to keep reading tarot, then hell, they don't have to. And that's just the truth, especially if they have a public platform. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Haven, Jupiter charts. It's an Earth. Hey! It's an Earth sign or... Uh, Water sign. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mini, Haven, Jupiter, Charles. So they're about to shut their tarot reading public platform down. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Significant shares of, of a fireside feminine's content on social media is about to really help her business grow in a huge way. Tarot reading business. Let me go get my kitty cat out of the 35-pound bag of cat food. I apologize. He got himself out. Okay. I heard um, some kind of significant share of a fire sign fan's um, tarot reading content on a social media platform is about to really help her business grow. So if the, you're pulling heavy fire sign fem energy, Scorpio. Uh, it's some kind of Aries Leo Sage fem energy. She could have Aries Leo Sage and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, men, hey, with Jupiter charts, but how that resonates, she has an online public tarot reading channel, and it sounds like at least one person, if not two or two plus people, are about to really start sharing her content on social media, and it's about to really help her business grow. For some, it could be you going to share her content, but only you know what you're going to do in the universe and not anybody else, okay? But somebody's about to share her content, whether it's you or somebody else, and it's going to be very public on some kind of social media platform. And it sounds like it's at least two or two plus people, and it's about to help her business grow. So she has a business on um, the tarot reading, like a lot of us do on YouTube, and that's just the truth. So uh, she can have Aries Leo Sag and her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, and Hayward, Jupiter charts. Well, okay, I'm done. I love you. Let me see if I hear anything else. For one, you're about to get... Conf confirmed evidence you were definitely not the father through a paternity paternity test. It is about to change your life in a huge positive way. A lot of money is owed to you and it will be paid back to you. And this person through many series of chain events may end up in prison. Know this. Oh, my God. Okay, so for one of you guys, depending on the actions you take with this, depending on the actions you take with this, okay. So, for one, you're about to get official paternity. Okay, one, you're Scorpio masculine. One, you're Scorpio masculine, and I heard you're about to get official paternity test results in that you definitely are not the father. So, you're definitely not the father of child or children. It sounds like you have already suspected with intuitive sus suspicions. <laughs> That's not a word. Ha, ha, ha. Um, suspicious intuitive nudges basically that you are not the father but I heard you're not and you're about to learn soon that you're definitely not but through official paperwork official paternity result paperwork like Maury Povic energy you're not the father 
energy on you know like morning COVID, that kind of shit. But official paper paperwork, documented paperwork, specifying you're not the father. Um, which is really important. But I heard this person is gonna have to end up paying you back a shit ton of money, and they might end up in prison depending on the actions you take with this. So I guess depending if you want to press um uh, press some charges or whatever legal actions or rights you have regarding that i i guess i should say okay um whoever you are about to learn you're not the father it sounds like you're about to get it hasn't happened yet but you're about to get official paternity results saying you're not but it sounds like they're definitely gonna have to pay you back the money but it sounds like you might have to go to court to do it for some um uh, and i'm just being for real it sounds like you might have to go through legal system justice system to do it for them to pay you back the money but i don't know i'm not a lawyer i'm not the legal system but I heard they will have to pay you back the money, but I feel for some of you might have to go to a lawyer and fight for it. Um, and I'm just being for real. But I heard they may uh, may end up in prison too, depending on the actions you take. So I feel for some after you get the uh, paternity test result, I think you're gonna go lawyer. You're gonna go get a consultation from a lawyer because honestly, I'm not a dude and I don't have a penis. Y'all know that. But if it was me and I was you, Scorpio masculine, and this was my story. And I got the paternity results, and I suspected in the past I wasn't the father, and I get the paternity results saying I'm not. That's a, I would be going consulting with a lawyer to figure out my legal rights there. Of course, you can take the advice or leave, okay? All right, I'm done. I love you guys so much, and namaste.